Chuggington has an ever-expanding fan base. Here's my detailed report on the Chuggington Interactive Toys, fitted with Smart Talk technology, which really brings these toys to life. Of course, there'll be a comparison to Trackmaster Thomas trains and more detailed track compatibility tests. I will also see which toy a 15 month old boy chooses in a lineup of classic Thomas and Chuggington characters. The results will send shockwaves to both train communities. It certainly surprised me as well. Which toy did this young boy repeatedly choose as his favourite? Before we move on, there's this important title here just to make sure we're on a fair and level playing field for both toy franchises. In an earlier video, I did touch briefly on this chugging the toy. I believe it deserves a much closer inspection. The key aspect of this toy is the interaction with other trains and playsets via a wireless network. Chuggington do detail well and the fans of the show will not be disappointed in the way each character is represented. Because they actually talk, it takes interactive play to a totally new level. Sure, these trains have an amazing ability to communicate, but are unable to move themselves, which is something that Thomas Trackmaster have covered. Chuggington seemed keen to always represent their characters without distortion. The diecast series, when placed with the interactive chuggers, show you the similarities in characters between scales. On a side note here, Thomas and friends used to be careful, as many remember the Ertl toy range. Sadly, take-alongs now represent the small metal format toys. If only we had an Ertl toy with strong wheels and the magnetic coupling. I know this causes a lot of comment in the Thomas community but uh, I'm very very familiar with the uh, Ertl toy train and I think one of the most appealing aspects of this toy was how similar it was to what you saw in the TV series. That's something that Thomas and friends have lost sight of in their toy manufacturing I'm afraid. Let's now have a listen to how these chuggers communicate but first there's a small issue to address. Harrison's a bit interesting because he didn't work straight from the shop. His um, button gets stuck down and there's no sound at all coming from him. And uh, Harrison's still no go on the sound. I've, uh, I've checked his, checked his uh, button. Still nothing. I have to check his batteries. A check of the factory installed batteries revealed they were flat. Let's insert some fresh batteries to see if Harrison finds his voice. I notice this model has a very sticky voice button. It tends to get locked down when pressed. Be there and toot, toot some whistle. If I press Brewster's button, let's see who he talks to. Oh, hello, Dunbar. Ready to explore? Let's go! If I push Harrison's button, let's I'm see what he talks to. Good. Got them all pointing at each other. I'm going to press Dunbar's button. Let's see who he talks to. I love it when the engines all sing together like that. That's one of the best things about this interactivity. You're only hearing a very small selection of what these engines can say. Basically, they'll prattle on forever in their character voice. This is a very endearing part of this toy, and I'm really impressed with this technology. Couplings on these trains are ball and socket style, and they work well. The wheel sets are interesting in the fact that they have a high degree of movement, possibly in keeping with the highly mobile CGI creations from the series. You're either going to love the way these trains jump around, or hate it. This of course is of huge contrast to the locked axle found on the Thomas Trackmaster trains. Does your chugger run on Thomas Track? Well there's no issues with running on Trackmaster. If you're running a single chugger, it'll run happily on the Thomas Wooden. The problem starts when you combine a few trains together. On the corners, you're going to have issues. Interestingly, the Thomas Trackmaster will run on Thomas Wooden. Even on the less aggressive bends, the chugger will have issues on the Thomas Wooden Railway. On the take-along track, again multiple chuggers will have issues on the corners. Surely all these different tracks is the real menace for parents trying to decide which train to purchase for their children. I'm a curious sort, and I love to open up toys to see how they work. And for some reason, my LED lights on my chuggers don't work. I see in other videos that they do. Inside the interactive chugger there's not much wasted space and yes, these do look like LEDs. Maybe I need some more chuggers to trigger this feature. I'm also investigating putting powered wheels onto this chugger. To do so I'll have to sacrifice the sound. A powered chugger would be a pretty cool thing to do. 
Now it's time for a really interesting test. I'll introduce a 15 month old boy to four Chuggington and four Thomas and Friends toys. He's familiar with both TV shows, but this is his first exposure to these toys. I have chosen bright and bland coloured toys from each franchise. The first day he was allowed to play with all eight trains. This had him very excited and a little bit overwhelmed. He investigated many aspects of each toy and sure he found the Chuggington sound button. What was interesting when he picked up Spencer, the Thomas and Friend character, he's looking for the button to play the sound, but of course it's not there. He didn't seem to favour any particular toy. He sure investigated many aspects to each toy train, but then again he also investigated his foot. Remember, he's only 15 months old and can't be instructed into any choices he makes. He certainly became familiar with the Chuggington sound button, but I don't think he's making assessments by the sound. He seems to be carefully looking and feeling at each train. In the end, there was only one he walked away with, and that was Thomas. The next day I set up the same eight trains to see which one he would choose to play with. Initially, he would stand back and point and only look at the trains, making no particular choice. Then I remembered an old trick of covering up the trains and then that made him investigate. Then he started to choose a train to play with. It actually takes him a fair bit of time to decide which one to pick up. He makes a decision, then it's reset and Thomas is in a different position. Again, it takes him a fair bit of time to decide which train to pick up. Obviously a trend going on here, so let's remove Thomas from the choice. With Thomas now out of the equation, it did have him a little bit confused, and he carefully looked at the choices. Interestingly, he chose Reneus. I wonder if it's because he's got the same sort of shape as Thomas. Reset again, now Thomas and Reneus are removed. He's now making faster decisions and almost picks up Spencer. On a second attempt, he comes in and picks up Action Chugger and goes straight for the sound button. Let's get the job done. Reset again, I moved Action Chugger up to the other end, no Reneus or Thomas, and he's picked Brewster in record time. Reset again, and I'm back to the original lineup. And he looks carefully and picks up Thomas very quickly. Now, what's the magnetic attraction about Thomas? What's there about this little blue engine that the others don't have? I'm reset again, and now I don't have to use the black cloak. He comes in and chooses a train without it. And he's picked up Action Chugger. This is the first time he's ignored Thomas when he's in the lineup. But what's interesting is he comes back and then he considers Thomas. Not sure what he's thinking here. Maybe he's having second thoughts about what he's picked up. Reset again and move the trains around and Thomas again is chosen. Over and over, Thomas is the train most liked in this lineup.
I put Thomas on the floor and I let him settle on some other choices to play with. I really felt he quite liked Action Chugger from all the previous play I witnessed. Thomas, Spencer and Reneus were chosen to play with while the others looked on. Again, he tries to activate the sound button on Spencer. This young boy can't tell the difference in brand, he just sees trains. Maybe what's attracting him to Thomas trains is the faces on the trains, which is pulling his favour in selection for play. Now here's something you don't see every day, it's Action Thomas. He's been developed to see if I can sway the choice made by the baby boy. The results will be posted in another video. Do you think Action Thomas will be chosen over the real Thomas Tank? Best of all, Action Thomas will be a special prize in an upcoming competition. One thing for sure, he's a very rare Thomas item. Okay, that's it for this video, and thank you very much for watching.